Hey Lashy Kids and Driving Mutants, I'm Lady Shasha, Mrs. of the Snark, and welcome to Sci-Fi Saturday. Do you guys remember Cosmic Slop? Cosmic Slop is a science fiction anthology series that aired on HBO. It was hosted by Parliament lead singer George Clinton. It also starred Casey Kasem, Robert Guillaume, and Anthony Anderson. In the tradition of the Twilight Zone, this bizarre, thought-provoking trilogy addresses the destiny of people of color in the USA. In the first episode, a conservative African-American politician must choose between his people's survival and appeasing his white colleagues when space aliens propose to share the profound knowledge in exchange for all the black people in the U.S. Reviewing Space is the place reminded me of this series, but for the life of me, I could not remember the name of it. I was finally able to track it down when I remembered that it was hosted by George Clinton from Parliament Funkadelic. If you've seen my review for Space is the Place, then you know the story is similar. Both stories center around aliens wanting to take black people away from Earth with them. When the aliens make first contact, they present as an animated image of Ronald Reagan. The aliens say that they are space traders and have nearly limitless gold and precious metals, machines that will renew the rivers and air, and coal fusion technology for an inexhaustible source of energy. They say that they will give the U.S. all of this in exchange for every child, woman, and man in the nation with at least 2,500 milligrams of melanin in their skin per square centimeter, which a scientist reports on the news corresponds to the color of a paper bag. The aliens don't tell anyone what they plan to do with melanated people, so no one knows whether this is going to be a positive or a negative. Plus, the aliens give them only five days to decide. The rest of the episode is people deciding what to do. The U.S. government decides to put this to a vote. Some European Americans see this as a win-win situation. Others try to launch a campaign that celebrates the contributions of melanated people in the U.S. in an effort to convince other European Americans that it's more beneficial to keep melanated people than to send them with the aliens. Robert Guillaume plays a professor who sits on many corporate boards who is asked to lobby for the side of giving all black people to the aliens. In return, they promise to smuggle his family to England with 100 other black families. He tries to convince his European American associates to back him up and not giving melanated people to the aliens. Just as the European American people were split on this decision, melanated people were also split on this decision. While Robert Guillaume and his family want to stay, his barber is ready to go. There's also a psychic who said that he's had his bags packed for three years. Besides the debate about whether to go or not, there's another layer of the story concerning black people who have less melanin content. The professor's wife, who is, as my grandfather would say, high yellow, tries to tan and wear dark makeup so that she can go with her family. Unfortunately, this doesn't work and the episode ends with the people of the U.S. voting to give up all the melanated people who are darker than a paper bag to the aliens. We still never find out what the aliens have intended for the melanated people, so this ending is highly ambiguous. This episode very much speaks to human behavior. Some might have found this deep in the 90s had they not seen Space is the Place, which did nearly the same thing almost 20 years earlier. But at this point, this whole global panini has brought out people's true colors, especially how selfish and entitled certain people are. Just take a look at all the Karens in the Wild channel or the Reddit r forward slash public freakouts to see how much human behavior has devolved. Or it could be that whole mental health epidemic that's totally ignored in the US. Anyways, people suck, except for you that are here with me right now, today. You guys don't suck. This was a very interesting rewatch, and when I was younger, I thought this show was so boring. But now that I'm older and I have an actual attention span, it's not bad at all. At the time of this recording, this episode was only available on YouTube, as there's only three episodes of this anthology series because HBO canceled it after the third episode. If I can find the other two, I will also review them. But like I always say, don't take my word for it. Watch it for yourself. Just because I love something doesn't mean you won't hate it. Just because I hate something doesn't mean you won't love it. Have you seen Comic Slop? What did you think of it? Let me know in the comments. Knowing me, I'd probably go with the aliens willingly if I have enough melanin. Uh, I think... I think I make the cut. All right. Until next time. But you know, Piggy, we could fight back. Like the Palestinians. Rocks and guns. Nigga, please. Like I'm gonna get myself killed just to stay here. I just hope they got them little bottles of Remy Martin on the flight. Got to have my Remy Martin.